my name is Sylvia Thigiri and I'm the curator for 13 Ways of Looking and I'm really excited today to be joined by one of the exhibiting artists, Shi Li. Hi Shi, you're welcome. Hi. Hi. Um, Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Um, hi, I'm Shi Li. Uh, I'm an interdisciplinary artist and I do uh, live performance and also uh, animations. Uh, so I came from China and I came to UK three years ago uh, to study uh, uh, my master in Birmingham City University. And I participate in several different contemporary uh, exhibitions uh, internationally. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Yi. Um, so I, the, the exhibition is now open, so it is possible to go and see Xi's work as part of the group exhibition. So my first question for you, Xi, as part of this uh, Q&A is, what's your first memory of seeing art? Yeah. So I think my first memory of seeing art uh, was when I was about four years old and my mother was a kindergarten teacher at that time and she uh, taught painting and piano. So I remember just like one day she took out a ceramic towel and which wrapped with fabric and she handed it to me very carefully because it's quite free, free, fragile and I remember there is a really colorful vibrant color fish painting on the ceramic towel and to be honest I couldn't really remember how the fish actually looks like but I can remember really clearly the uh, acrylic texture on the ceramic because the paint is dry out already and there is there are a lot of cracked um, texture on the ceramic. So I, that's really um, impressive. And just after that, I just try to uh, do different kind of uh, drawings and paintings by myself when I got time at home. And I tried like uh, watercolor, and also Chinese traditional paintings, also practice uh, calligraphy, uh, and also try to use the paper box to make some small installation by myself. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Um, it's amazing that you can remember um, that far back. It must have been a piece of artwork that really struck you, um, that you can still kind of remember it um, now. So, and kind of interesting to hear that that was maybe the beginning of your journey to being the artist that you are now. So that's really, that's really good to hear. Um, and my, my second question for you is around collaboration. So collaboration in your work is really important. Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit more about that, share a bit more with us? Yeah, sure. Um, I think I just really enjoy teamwork and I like uh, interdisciplinary uh, collaborations because I think people from different uh, background, they have their own perspective uh, to look at one thing and they have their own value uh, input uh, to the project that we are going to collaborate. Uh, for instance, it's like um, for our project Dream of Fly and Other Stories, I collaborate with uh, the brilliant musician James Austin and he said when he saw my uh, drawings, he can literally hear the music in his mind. And I think it's the same thing when I saw, when I listen to his music, I can just saw those images flashing in my head as well. Um, so I think I really enjoy this kind of connection between um, different uh, background. Although we are share different, we are like different cultural backgrounds and also we study different subjects, but we share this kind of uh, very similar creativities. And I find that really, um, really charming. And also um, because Dream of Light related to uh, universe. So I also ask some questions from my uh, friends who study in science and he gave me another totally new perspective to look at the, the project. Um, so I think like in general, I think it's just, uh, it's not just about art, music, science or philosophy. I think 
um, they are also they are like totally different subjects, but uh, they have a lot of connection and people from those backgrounds, they have their own perspective. Uh, so I think if if I can combine those different perspectives to look at one thing, mm -hmm. uh, that's just really makes me feel inspiring. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, it's really um, good for us to be able to hear a little bit more about why collaboration is so important to you. And just, I think we can see there's a sense of really wanting to bring in different perspectives to enrich the work that you're making and um, mm -hmm. in terms of the collaborations that you mentioned with the musicians and the science scientists um, how does that come about do you seek people out or do you does it as it happen naturally like how how did those collaborations actually happen yeah so i think um it's kind of uh, naturally because I uh, like to making friends in different um, background and I really like to learn things from different people yeah so I just keep kind of keep this kind of connection yeah okay that's good that's great thanks Xi. In, in your work Xi, you simultaneously center the universe nature and the individual can you tell us more about this yeah sure so I think uh, it's more about to share uh, experience and to express the emotion. In fact, Dream of Light is about the process uh, constantly searching for balance in chaos. Uh, I think most of human beings who live in this universe, they all went through this very similar process, but in their own unique way. Uh, yeah, so are we all dealing with our own uh, struggle and it can relate it to really big thing like life and death or it can be really small thing in our daily life like struggling how to make a great sandwich and and also i think if if uh, if the human being they're like to focus on their own uh, struggle their own suffering they may feel much more pain than the actual thing is. So I think if we can just think about the grand universe, they are have uh, have their own chaos and also the nature, the animal, they all went through their own struggle. Um, I think in that way, um, we can feel a little bit relieved. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's fascinating. Um... And I think it yeah, just kind of um, shows the layers that um, are part of this this um, piece of work that you've created. Um, so, you know, I think that's really important to kind of hear a little bit more about that. And um, you describe your work as an immersive installation. Yes. What does this mean? Um, so I think as an immersive installation is actually uh, I want to create a space and to um, bring my audience into another world and to share uh, the perspective of the female character in Dream of Fly story. And um, at the same time, because actually you can see the images from the inside and uh, both from outside of the installation. So it's like when you enter to the gallery space and um, there is a space outside the cube installation. And when you enter the cube installation, you will feel another kind of. So this concept is related to the uh, multiverse in Dream of Life story. Yeah. Oh, that's, um, that's great, Xi. I think, yeah, there's re there is something about coming out, coming in, entering into your work seeing it from the outside and perhaps an initial assumption that that's the work um you can view it from the outside but then i think as you said once you enter the space and you sit down and you experience yes. this more immersive experience um it does take you into a different place and it, it does give you a different um understanding and of of the experience of 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 the the character in in your in your work so i think that definitely, I would say, has come through like having experienced the work myself. So, um, thanks for yeah, <laughs> telling us a little bit more about that. And um, yeah, 
Thank you. So, uh, you know, we're sort of unpacking the different elements to the different layers to your work. So we've talked a little bit about um, how you centre the universe, nature and the individual, and then also about this idea of an immersive installation. But there's also another layer to your practice, which is, um, you know, you're really interested in live performance. So can you tell us about the live performance aspect of your work? Like, why do you include this as part of your practice? Yes. I think um, for me, live performance is another another method to bring a different experience to my audience. And I think um, because it is a live performance, so there are lots of uncertainty and randomness uh, you can not really control in during the performance. Mm -hmm. I think that kind of thing really fascinates me. And also uh, in terms of Dreamfly live performance. It is combined pre-prepared animation projections with uh, live music performance and also some uh, improvised uh, music elements and uh, and combined uh, live camera. So I'm gonna do mo hand movement in front of live live camera and uh, hand movement in front of the overhead projectors. So. You can you can see this kind of uh, pre-prepared elements combined with those improvised elements, both in the visual and uh, music perspective. Um, I think that's quite very similar concept with Dreamfly itself, because in Dreamfly, um, the character constantly trying to find balance and control things in chaos, but actually. Uh, there's no way you can really control things and make uh, make plan and want to think want things to just follow the structure. And I think it's the same uh, concept in uh, Dreamfly live performance because um, we can control the prepared elements really well, but um, there'll always be some surprise come from the life perspective, uh, life aspect. Yeah. So I think, um, yeah, so I think like also for my audience, uh, maybe I think it can be a really uh, inspiring experience as well. And they, the audience, they might know what they can expect in this performance, but uh, the performance is going to be different each time. So it will surprise them uh, each time, I think. Okay, um, that's really exciting. Um, I'm lo really looking forward to that um, live performance, which uh, is possible to, if you go to the Herbert website, you can book tickets to view that online in December. And um, I think it'll be, it'll be great to kind of see that, that third layer, so to speak, of your, of your work, um, which sounds, sounds brilliant. And um, yeah, this sort of leads me on to my last question now in terms of, um, you know, what would you want the audience to come away with after viewing your work? Yeah, so I think, um, I think I want to bring like comfort and um, make people feel calm after they see my whole piece and see the work. Because actually the story from, the story in Dreamfly is uh, beginning from the feelings of struggling and then goes into loss, and then it's loneliness, and then start to find balance in chaos, and finally find a way to rebirth. So you can see there is a, a circle, and there is like a process. And um, so I think um, just want to uh, make people feel they, they are not the only person who went through this kind of uh, process this kind of experience and hope they don't hope everybody can find their own inner peace the, the work dream of fly and other stories is quite an you know interesting title can you tell us a little bit more about how you came up with that title yes sure uh, so I think that relates to another inspiration for dream of fly which is a Chinese philosophical story to, um, called the butterfly dream and it is a discussion of um 
existence and the discussion of what is real and what is uh, fantasy. So I think that story gave two different perspectives to look at the world uh, because the story is about um, a dream between the man and the butterfly and they uh, they are wondering whether it's the man dreaming of the butterfly or is the butterfly dreaming of the man. Yeah, so I think uh, for Dream of Fly and other stories, I want to combine those kind of um, amb ambiguous feelings in in the in a story, and also I uh, combine like nar multiple na multiple lines uh, narratives in Dream of Fly as well because uh, it is like um, there are several uh, sub stories contained with a uh, big stories by the dream of between the woman and the moss. Thank you, Xi. It's been really lovely to talk to you. Uh, thank you for answering the questions and just giving us a bit more insight into your, your work and into your practice. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great um, experience to talk about my work as well.